24 year old patient with a obstetric score of gravidar 2 abortion 1 had history of rheumatic heart disease at the age of 12 years she has come to the outpatient department with history of 3 months of amenorrhea she is not on any cardioreactive drugs so what examination and investigation would you like you to do uh, ma'am i would like to first do the uh, general uh, examination for the patient where i'd like to see if the patient uh, is having any anemia clubbing cyanosis whether she has an increased uh, jvp to see if there is any uh, cardiac uh, failure and i'd like to see if the patient is running any temperature uh, to see if uh, she has any infective uh, endocarditis followed by uh, uh, and also i'd like to do a, a see if uh, the patient has an enlarged uh, thyroid to rule out uh, hyperthyroidism followed by that i'd like to uh, do a systemic uh, examination of the uh, cardiovascular system where i'd like to uh, check for the apical impulse and uh, see if there are any uh, murmurs palpable uh, thrills associated with uh, her uh, cardiac disease man followed by that i'd like to do respiratory system examination to check if there is uh, basal bilateral basal crepitations indicative of cardiac failure then i'd like to do abdomen examination to see if there is uh, tender hepatomegaly uh, which is suggestive of cardiac failure i'd like also like to see if there is a uh, splenomegaly uh, to rule out uh, infective endocarditis so infective endocarditis she is not having any fever or anything yes ma'am but she is anemic hmm. so how to clinch clinically she is having a heart disease not due to anemia how will you differentiate clinically a murmur uh, ma'am uh, we would uh, auscultate the patient and see uh, for uh, rheumatic heart disease the most common uh, lesion is a uh, mitral stenosis ma'am so we can uh, see if the patient has any uh, mid diastolic uh, murmur in the uh, mitral area okay actually when there is a, a thrill it's always pathological when there is a diastolic murmur it's always pathological systolic murmur more than 3 3 it's always pathological because certain changes happens normally in pregnancy also like hemic murmur mammary swoful and the apical impulses shifted these are all can happen to normal pregnancy also to clinch the cardiac disease we have to know there is a thrill it is definite of cardiac lesion if there is systolic murmur more than 3 it is indicative of cardiac disease if it is a diastolic murmur we are definite that we are dealing a case of heart disease of course as you said we have to look for cardiovascular system respiratory system and abdomen and what investigation would you like to do you suspect in this case mid diastolic murmur and a palp i mean loud p2 ma'am i'd uh, like to uh, do two major investigations which is the ecg and the echocardiogram the echocardiogram can uh, clinch a diagnosis of not only the uh, functional capacity but also can give us an idea about the anatomical uh, uh, structural, structural organization defect. of the heart structural yes. defect and what is the other basic investigation she is pregnant three three months amenorrhea what is the basic investigation would you like to do I mean, i'd like to check her uh, hemoglobin uh, levels i'd also like to do a urine examination to check if there is any albumin or uh, if uh, she has any urinary tract deposits deposits and i'd also like to do an ultrasound of the abdomen to confirm the pregnancy and then what she is uh, she doesn't have a above previous abortion she is gravidar to any other blood test you want to do anti phospholipid so basic you have to know about her blood grouping rh typing, typing. hiv hbsag cc and if possible even a baseline blood sugar we have to do okay right these mm-hmm. are all the basic investigation routine investigation and a specific investigation because we are suspecting a cardiac disease we have to do echo and uh, ecg and the first a visit itself we have to get a concurrent opinion from the cardiologist Cardiology. the first its uh, visit itself should include so that we know whether which class she belongs to okay so 